Hi, I'm Joshua Kimball and this is my vloggings. It's been a long time since I've done just an average kind of commute vlog. Uh, and, you know, being that I'm in my 40s and I'm a guy on YouTube, what am I doing if I'm not doing vlogs in my car on my long commute uh, from where I work as an art director? I mean, really. So anyhow, um, I am just going to kind of start the vlog again. I'm a little uncomfortable because it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, I have been doing a lot of live streams as of late and I've been really enjoying live streams and getting more comfortable with just kind of the process of, uh, you know, like doing commentary, uh, like maybe playing YouTube videos that I would listen to uh, of debates and things like that when I work on art. Uh, and I know a lot of us do that. Like when we're working on art, we'll listen to like podcasts or things like that. But it just dawned on me like I should probably be uh, doing that on times where I'd otherwise just be like working alone. Uh, because half of what I enjoy about YouTube is kind of the community that is built, like our little art community that I think is kind of growing. And maybe we're not growing like exponentially, but it is fun to have this little crew of artists that are keeping each other in check, keeping each other inspired, keeping each other kind of like moving forward, um, making stuff. And I'm jumping way ahead. What I should do is actually tell you who I am. I try to do that uh, for anybody who might be new. So I'm Joshua Kemble. I'm an art director and uh, illustrator, graphic designer. I've been doing illustration graphic design for about 40 years. Uh, and I've been art directing for about seven. Um, today was a really, excellent day and um there's been like an energy that i've been feeling uh the last like few months i've kind of stopped um and this i guess maybe this could tie into like a topic for this vlog since i again like it's been a long time since i've vlogged it's kind of like live streaming where i wasn't doing it and now that i haven't done it for a while um I usually do this thing where if I haven't done something for a while, it'll take me a long time to get back in the horse. But then the second that I'm back, uh, I go full force. Like, um, and so this is why I try not to take breaks from doing things like working on comics. Uh, I've built a habit where I don't take days off from working on comics. Um, and that's helped me get through two graphic novels and about almost halfway through uh, a third graphic novel. Um, just that mentality of like, if I take a break that's one day, that could easily become a year, uh, just with the way I'm built. And so I think that's possibly been about how long it's been since I've vlogged. I also looked and saw that I need gas. So I am gonna have to stop and get gas. But uh, that's exciting. That's fun news. You guys love hearing that. Um, <laughs> anyhow, anyhow, so it, it got me thinking about, um, about the fact that like when we're working and we're kind of building community, like that, that's half the fun of, uh, social media and especially for a designer who's working on their own personal projects. Like when I'm at my day job where I work as an art director, um, I want to keep my team happy and, uh, there's all sorts of motivation that keeps me kind of driven at work. But there's also like the bottom line motivation, right? Like you kind of have to watch the bottom line, make sure you're making money for the company that you're working for, right? Like that's that's kind of like a very easy reward that you're gonna be, and it's very measurable, right? Like it's, it's like, it, it is the art that we're making generating income for your business? If not, I'm failing, right? If, if, if it is, then I'm doing okay. Um, it, it, but when it comes to personal work, and I think this is why a lot of people, like, I, I freelanced for, like, 15 to 20 years. Um, 20 years, actually. It's kind of crazy. Um, but one of the things that I think really cripples people when they try to go freelance and they're used to working in house places is that, like, the incentive structure. Because when you work for a company... You have expectations placed upon you, and if you meet those expectations, you get a paycheck, you go home, you clock out, right? You clock in, there's like, there's an expectation, right? There's an expectation on both ends. You know what to expect, and 
you know what is expected of you, at least at a decent workplace. Um, and I think this holds a lot of creatives back. Like when they first try to go freelance, a lot of them will fail because they don't have the self-discipline built in to just like make this stuff themselves and seek out the clients themselves and send out uh, you know, invoices themselves. Like it's a lot to kind of do. But because I had done that for so long, uh, when it comes to personal projects, I think it's really important to find other drivers, other driving factors than just money. Uh, because like, if I'm gonna do stuff for money, it's, it's most likely gonna be something I do at my day job. Um, and I want the stuff that I do for money to inform the stuff I do personally, but I wanna be able to make art that's beyond just kind of like income. Um, and that might sound all artsy-fartsy and stupid, but I've done commercial art for about 20 years. And so I feel like I know what I'm talking about in the sense of like, I've, I've experienced a lot of what there is to experience in the commercial art world for all varieties of income, right? Like, um, and I, it is really nice. I will just say it is an awesome thing to be able to make a living doing art. And anyone who's doing that, I've said this multiple times, like, hey, if you're making money doing art, congratulations, you've cheated the system, good for you. Uh, that is not easy to do. Um, and if it was easy for you to do, uh, congratulations, you are like 0.00005% of, uh, of the world. Um, so anyhow, like uh, what I'm thinking about with incentive structures is the fact that like we need to kind of look for things that are like why you want to make something. And then you want to actually like, and I'm talking about personal projects here, like something like a graphic novel that you wrote or a graphic novel that you're collaborating on or uh, uh, anyhow, to be continued, I'm going to get gas and then we'll continue this little rant and I'll try to keep it under, I don't know, like 15 minutes. And just for the hell of it, I did record um, <laughs> a little bit of pumping gas because why the hell not? This is a vlog, that's what we do. We kind of show like little slices of life. It's what I like to do in my comics too. I like to kind of show uh, small silent moments. Um, hopefully my comics aren't as boring as like filming while pumping gas, but hey, you know what? This is free content. Um, what can I say? So anyhow, um, oh, so I was talking about, what were we talking about? We were talking about, um, inspiration, inspiration when it comes to things like, uh, your personal projects and your own stuff. And you have to find like, and seek, not you, but I have to take hold of the reasons that I'm doing this in the first place. Like, why am I doing comics? I, you know, I'm not a wealthy person, but I make a decent living doing what I do for a living. And so at the end of the day, the reason I'm doing comics is something much deeper than just kind of like uh, getting a paycheck because I already get a paycheck, right? Um, so I need to think about like, what are my motivations? Like, what's my purpose? Do I want to make something that sells like a bunch of money? Uh, it makes a bunch of money or do I want to make something that's good that is uh, a little chunk of my soul put on a platter for you to consume which by the way I've done right uh, there's two graphic novels that I've made that I spent about five years each on uh, two stories in Jacob's apartment and I mention them on every single YouTube thing that I do and the reason I do is because I put a little tiny piece of my soul into those books uh, more so than I would ever do uh, for commercial work not that I wouldn't try hard or make beautiful work for a, a client but these are things that are like an effort of my soul <laughs> and uh, and uh, uh, anyhow tying in with that I've been thinking a lot about like social media and YouTube and all the strategies that you're told and like how you you know like if you want to grow your channel do this do that if you want to um, get Facebook followers do this do that if you want to do get Instagram followers do this do that 
And I'm starting to just kind of come to terms with the fact that I think the best thing that I can do for myself is to just be myself, uh, be as transparent as possible, as, as ethically possible, uh, and, and build community and like work on building community and hanging out with people, um, like the live streams that I do, or even these vlogs where I bear a little bit of my soul or kind of share my experience of what what life is like as a cartoonist and illustrator and the challenges that come up and stuff like that. Um, I don't think there's any other uh, route that I think even if you try for success and you're not actually enjoying it, I think it's just going to be something people can uh, read. And I, and I think honestly, if people watch me doing my live streams, um, you know, I think they know I'm enjoying myself, whether it's playing Risk or working on comics, um, which sometimes isn't that enjoyable, but it's still a process that I enjoy. It's still, uh, it's still a thing where I'm burying my soul a little bit. Um, or, even, or like, I think I mentioned playing Risk, but it's like, I enjoy playing Risk. And I enjoy playing Risk with other people hanging out with me while I play Risk. So we can look at like lunatic moves together and be like, why is that? Or watching like weird debates with crazy people um, and like commenting on it and thinking like, you know, like also just thinking about the tactics of it. Like how would they approach this? If that were me on like doing that discussion, how would I have approached it? Probably not better, but it's interesting. It's fun and I'm enjoying myself. And I wanted to kind of do a vlog about that. Like, I don't know what has been going on the last like three months. I feel like three months ago, something unlocked and I can't explain it, but something that was making me like very reserved, very held back. Um, something unlocked about three months ago where I, I really want to like boldly step forward and make changes that I can and do what I can, uh, you know, for for my art channel, for um, for my comics, for my family, for my workplace, and I'm, so I'm kind of doubling down on everything. Um, and instead of kind of like freaking out about multitasking, I've done a bunch of videos on that, like how you can microtask and how you can effectively uh, multitask and stuff like that, but. Rather than kind of getting in this big, like, macro view of, like, uh, efficiency and being caught in, like, an efficiency machine, um, I have to admit, like, there's just something that's unlocked where I, I, I want to make good stuff. I want to make stuff. Um, but I don't want to be overly concerned or restricted by, um, by my own self-limitations on things. And I feel like I've been doing that a lot. Uh, like, you know, anyhow, it's a, it's a long winded thing, but it's been interesting. It's been a good few months. It's made my work life much more enjoyable. Um, kind of like, the best way I can explain it is, there's kind of two ways you can approach uh, things. Or I, I gotta stop saying you and kind of focus more on me. Um, there are two ways, that, and not focusing on me uh, to, to discount you, right? Focusing on me because I shouldn't speak for you. I don't have your life, right? I, I don't know what your struggles are. And so if, if I'm kind of, I can give like rough advice on things that I've experienced in my life, but it's always going to be different for each individual, right? Depending on what they've experienced and stuff. But um, I think sometimes I find myself waiting for permission uh, or waiting for someone else to kind of do something um, in order for something to move into place where I would like it to. And what I'm doing uh, the last few months is like, I, no, screw it. I am going to do the things that need to be done and I'm gonna do them very positively and, uh, and actively. I prefer to be active, is my point. Active in um, trying to be the change, as corny as that is. So, yeah, I don't know. This is a really rambly vlog, but um, but I feel like if you feel stuck or if you feel locked in, um, 
sometimes there's circumstances in life that are going to be way outside of your control that you, you just, you literally are kind of locked in. You are kind of trapped. And, and in cases like that, the best thing you can do is just like survive, right? And get through whatever it is that's kind of restraining you, whether it's mental health issues or uh, death in the family or death of a friend or sickness or all of the things, all of the things that at my age, you start really experiencing, you know, a lot more. And I think that as I continue to get older, those experiences are just going to quantif like quantifiably increase um, because it, it, that's just life. Like life is full of a lot of tragedy and a lot of hardship. Um, and you kind of have to just roll with it for some of those things um, and rely on your you know, core belief systems, maybe your faith. Like in my case, my, my uh, faith uh, saves me from, um, from utter dismay in, in so many, uh, so many realms with like, you know, relationships with, um, with uh, uh, life circumstances, with career problems, with all sorts of stuff that just come up in life. Uh, my faith has been like a solid rock that I can kind of rest in. Um, and that's awesome. But whatever that is, like that's kind of your solution in the case of those tumultuous times. But outside of that, I think a lot of times, at least I catch myself um, sort of being stuck uh, or maybe feeling trapped into something that I chose, like trapped uh, in, in working on a comic or something. There are points in the process of working on a comic where I feel very restrained and, and stuck because it, it's a nightmare working on a graphic novel. It's a long journey, right? What I've started to do, and, and, and again, I don't know if this is like going to be a permanent thing. I don't know if like I'm going to be suddenly like positive Josh, actually, but, I, but I've started to kind of enjoy and embrace um, not only the process of things, but my ability to unlock that lock. Like, that there's like self restraints that I felt quite a bit um, when it comes to what I am capable of or uh, what needs to be done. And some of it, I lock myself. <laughs> um, oh man, this is so weird the way I'm verbalizing. But I feel like there are times where I kind of um, make myself stuck as opposed to, uh, and maybe wait for something to uh, come and, and do the thing that needs to be done. And uh, it's just been really refreshing and enlightening to kind of embrace the fact that like, no, I can actually unlock this door, whatever it is that's preventing me from getting where I need to go, or not just where I need to go, but getting things done that need to get done, that that in general just are, um, like I, I've been, you know, I've spent years thinking, oh, why doesn't somebody do this? Why doesn't somebody do that? And, uh, and, I, and I have started to finally embrace the fact that I am that somebody who needs to do that. Like, um, I don't want to sound like some positivity guru or like I'm giving some sort of patent advice. It's just been really refreshing. Um, I have felt very alive the last three months, like uh, more so than, uh, than I used to uh, for the last few years. And a lot of it's just like really being present, enjoying my son, enjoying my, my, um, my dogs, enjoying my wife, enjoying uh, the process of comics, enjoying the live streams, enjoying kind of like the things that I've been given uh, and, and just kind of seeking to like do what I can to do the things actively that I think should be done. Um, it's, it's, it's a very, I don't know, it's again like, it's not like all my problems are gone. It's not like um, suddenly I'm 20 times better of an artist. But I will say I've done much better work, uh, both professionally and personally, um, art-wise, in the last few months. And part of it is just taking things lighter, having more fun with things, playing more, 
uh, allowing myself to um, prioritize uh, play um, as part of the creative process. Uh, there's been just a lot of stuff and it's been really fun and interesting and I thought I should share it. I don't know if that's useful to you guys. This is a vlog so by by its own nature it's kind of like a like this isn't like a tutorial <laughs> that's gonna like necessarily help everyone but I just thought it's it was it was cool to share. Um, it's kind of good to share these things. Um, let's see what else what else has happened traffic. Okay, so that didn't really work out. I thought I'd show like a really cool, like quick time lapse of like the traffic as it moved because it's moving super slow and it'd be a boring video. But then I realized it's moving so slow that that's gonna be like a second of time lapse where it doesn't look like it's moving at all, <laughs> which is uh, very much California. But I will say this, uh, a couple of cool things. Right now, um, it is like feeling uh, like so, like northwest, um, uh, like rainy, foggy, like creative weather, right? Like it's been really uh, rainy um, the last few days in California, the, the last month or so in California. And, and along with that comes all the family stuff, right? Where the kid gets sick and comes home and brings the sickness home. And then the wife gets sick and then I get sick and then her sister gets sick and there's like sickness going around the house. Um, and we've been having a lot of that, like a lot of just like colds and whatever, and it just kind of passes on. But I will say there's something about this weather that's just fascinating. Like on my drives home, I've just felt like, am I in the Northwest? Am I even in California? Um, and, it, and it's been really beautiful. Um, it's, it's been really interesting. Um, but the downside is like you get these really like gloomy skies. So I don't know. Anyhow, so that's, I think that's all I'm gonna do for this vlog. Um, just updating. Uh, also, I thought it was important to just tackle it. Often, um, kind of tying into the thing I was talking about at the very beginning, where I will have these times where I am in a good flow state and I am making stuff and I'm being very productive. And then I have these times that like where I'll get derailed for a day or two. And again, like with comics, I've already solved this problem, but with other stuff like vlogs and live streams and, um, and just creative endeavors overall, it's like, I am a creature of habit. And when I get out of the habit, um, I find that I will start kind of second guessing the whole thing. So even in the case of the vlogs, uh, one, like when I was making vlogs, it was super easy to generate content and make vlogs. And I didn't get too self-conscious about like, is this going to be viewed? Does anybody like these things? Um, because I'm in the habit of doing it. So I'm like, yeah, I'll just make vlogs. <coughs> kind of, <coughs> excuse me, kind of enjoy the process. Um, see where it goes. Maybe it'll be uh, something worthwhile, maybe not, but at least it's a way to kind of make some content. Um, maybe it'll, you know, catch uh, new viewers or catch a new reader, which by the way, like as small as my YouTube channel is, um, it has been really helpful. You guys have been very supportive of my books and it's been really cool um, considering I don't have like a massive YouTube channel. I don't have these massive live streams where like a million people show up. But again, like, the last three months I've started realizing like just the live stream amount, the people that do show up are so great. Like I, I love these people. Um, I love the art community that, that we've built online and, um, and I'm thankful for it. Like it doesn't need to be this massive thing. Um, it, it, but anyhow, uh, so that was a total tangent. Um, but the whole point was, was that like, when it, when it comes to like the vlogs, I'll, I'll be in the habit, I'll do them. And then it, the second I stop, that's where like the little demon comes out and is like, well, do you really have anything worthwhile to say? Like, does anybody really wanna like listen to some 40 year old dude like ramble in his car? Uh, does, uh, do, do people wanna like even, even live streaming where I was like, I, I stopped live streaming for a bit and then I held off and I'm like, I don't think anybody's gonna really enjoy it because all I'm gonna do is art and I'm doing art anyway. And besides I'm kind of listening to this podcast, like that kind of thing, right? Um, I do the same thing with vlogs. So part of the function of this vlog is just to start, 
right? Because I have the time to do it. Otherwise, what am I doing on my commute anyway, right? Like, what am I doing that's uh, productive or doing anything to like advance my book sales or to reach out to my community and like try to build community and try to kind of be transparent and uh, and go on this little journey with you guys. And, and so anyhow, I am partially doing this because I thought, hmm, maybe I should do a vlog. And then I had the second guessing of like, well, what would I talk about? Like what exact topic do i have any advice i could give do i have any um you know deep well of art knowledge that i can talk about uh is there something interesting about my comics anything like that and then i was like you know what if i wait it's kind of like it, this is rambling a bit and it's definitely not at all like this but it is slightly like this i remember when my wife and i decided to have a kid um Part of why we held off for a while was like, I just didn't feel financially ready. I didn't feel uh, like, you know, and then I was like, well, I mean, we live in, at the time we were living in like a really, well, not super bad, but not great area of Long Beach um, in, in like a really small apartment. And I was like, that's just not a great place to grow up. And like, there's all these reasons that just came out of the woodwork that were like, well, you're not ready yet because of this, because of this, because of this. And I remember, I, you know, a couple of people who were parents um, gave me really great advice, which was you, you're literally never gonna be ready. Like it, you will never, like if you wait till all the conditions are perfect, you will never have a kid. Because nobody's ready to have a kid and and you're never gonna have the money to have a kid. You're not, not that you should go out and just have a bunch of kids without like, you know, planning or thinking about it or anything like that. But the point, it, it does still stand that if you kind of wait for all the perfect conditions, um, chances are you probably won't ever have kids because it's never a perfect time. It just never is. So in a weird way, once you've kind of decided, it's like, you know, try to do it as responsibly as you can. But like, once you've decided, you kind of have to just go for it and 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 leave things to fate and, and your own uh, survival and your own like drive and stuff like that. And then of course, uh, you know, to um, the powers that be outside of you, like, it, you know, um, because a lot of it's up to God, like whether whether that works out. There's a lot of parents who did all the right things and it didn't work out. Um, and there's a lot of parents who, you know, were under the worst circumstances to have kids and, and managed to make it work. Um, and some so much of that's up to fate. But my point is just um, not to go on a tangent about having kids. It's about, um, I, I'm trying to kind of, wrap this so that we can end this because I think it's at like 20 minutes now once I cut it all together. My point is that it, 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 it just does no good for me to wait uh, till I have the perfect content to provide um, for a vlog. Um, because at the end of the day, like I've done vlogs in the past where I've spent a long time on them, thought about them, uh, you know, I've done videos where I've like scripted them out and like really planned it out and was like really put a lot into it and they didn't get a lot of views and then I've done random videos that got way more views that you know were like me speaking off the cuff like this. So at the end of the day like my point isn't like oh we should just churn out stuff I'm just saying for me it was important to do this vlog because by doing this I am kicking down the stupid gateway that has prevented me from getting back to doing these vlogs, which is more content for you guys. And uh, and it's fun for me, I really enjoy them. And I don't know why I stopped doing them. Except that I stopped once, I probably have one or two days, where it's just like, nah, don't feel like it. I'll listen to an audiobook or something like that. And then that became months and months and months, and then that became like almost a year. Um, so I can't allow that to happen. And I can't get crippled by that, like once you pause, the second you're about to press play again, you're like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Like, why would anyone care about this? No, 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 not falling for that trap. I'm vlogging YouTube. Vloggins is back. Uh, Kenny Vloggins is back. I don't want to be some perfectionist who's just sitting back and not doing things that I enjoy because I'm second guessing them. Uh, that's the thing that's changed in the last like three months. Um, like three months ago, something unlocked, and I'm done with locked doors. Um, 
I don't know if that makes sense. So anyhow, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if you enjoy the vlogs, if you're happy they're back, or um, if you're like, kind of like, oh no, he's back. Why? Why are you in my feeds? I think I even squeaked my voice there. So that was a lot of fun. Um, what else? That's it. Uh, um, thanks, uh, community. Appreciate you guys. I'll probably be live streaming and working on comics tonight and um, possibly playing a game of Risk. And uh, we're going to make art and have fun together. So uh, if you haven't yet, hit subscribe, hit the bell uh, so you get notifications when we're about to go live. Um, and also uh, so you get notifications when my vlogs go up because I'll be doing more of these. Um, and if you have any questions about art or the process of art or illustration or graphic design, um, hit me up in the comments, any question, um, and I will try to tackle it uh, as best I can on the next vlog um, or on a live stream. Um, or if you're at the live stream in the chats, uh, we, we can talk directly. So anyhow, that's it. That's me. Uh, my website, joshuakimble.com. My two books, Two Stories and Jacob's Apartment, if you haven't read them yet. Uh, they're books that I poured my soul into. And uh, they're both available at, uh, at bookstores online everywhere. And uh, Jacob's Apartment, you can actually get at your local bookstore. Ask them to order it um, from a Diamond Order Catalog. Um, but Jacob's Apartment and Two Stories, good books. I made them. Buy them. Goodbye.